All right, so um, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Matt here. We are on GTA 5, and I'm basically showing you guys how to make the Thomas Cortell character that appears in my GTA 5 movie, Jake Scott Never Walk Alone. Now, this is mainly for the people that want to remake him. So, first of all, he's a male, and this is his chart between his parents. I chose to have him having Hannah as the mom, and I randomly came across John Marston here, and I just felt maybe that would work. So I'm thinking I went with the resemblance tones of and skin tone of this, and it worked out pretty well. I know when I'm when he's in the actual movie, I'm gonna have his emotion be like mad or something. That way his facial expression is like different. But then let's get over to features, where we have a lot of the stuff being basically custom. So for his brows, there's that. That's his eyes, they're pretty wide. His nose is like down a little bit, but it's it's kind of like down the middle, that way it appears as a normal nose. His nose profile, I wanted it to be very curvy and I don't I don't think it's that long, but I mean, what do I know? And then I give him the basic nose tip because I don't want it looking weird in the movie. Let me just get the mouse out of the way. Um, his cheekbones I chose to be in between the in and the down, so it, it gives him a sort of weird look, and then his cheeks are all the way puffed, because, like, the way that I did it was I wanted him to look basically rich, a little fat, but be in shape. So I gave him a little bit of a fatter face, but you can't really tell unless you were to, like, adjust the cheeks. His lips, I gave him, like, really thin lips, because I, yeah, what, what am I supposed to do on him? I didn't want him looking very weird. Um, then if you go to his jaw, it's like rounded, but it's also very narrow. His chin profile is in the middle of up and in. But it, well, it's basically the small one, and then he's got a round chin, it's small. And now let's go over to his appearance. Alright, I gave him a bald head, because I wanted him to be a bald guy. Not in the sort of James Bond way, but just sort of in a way where you can get more presence being bald in movies. I gave him the balanced eyebrows because I was kind of looking for the most common eyebrow that you can get and I know for the Jake Scott eyebrow, I wanted it to look like this but I accidentally made it trimmed but so I compared it to his eyebrows and this was the one that I came close enough to it so it works well. Um, I gave him, well, for the color of all of his hair I gave it number three, that way it's dark but it doesn't appear brown. And then his facial hair is chin fuzz. There's him that little beard that says that he's got facial hair and he's mature, but he doesn't have like that goatee, so he's not really a douchebag. I give him a little bit of skin aging, that way we know that he's older than Jake and, you know, knows the business more. And then, you know, give him a little bit of rosy cheeks. There's enough for all these like opacity things, you can just copy them, comparing them to your actual character. I didn't give him any really freckles or any of that stuff. I give him a little bit of skin damage, that way we know he's a little bit older and such. And then for his eyes, okay, so his eyes, I was kind of like balanced out. I wanted to give him like some sort of uncanny value eyes, so I came across dark gray, and it doesn't look too out there, and it's not like blue or anything, and it just, it, it works. You don't see anything off about him. It looks like he's just got like really light blue eyes, and I, I like it. Um, I gave him a little bit of makeup, because I figured he could use a little bit of personality like I did for Jake, and I gave him like a little bit of opacity of that, that way it makes it look normal. I didn't put any lipstick on him, and then let's go back to his outfit. So, you don't really have to put on a certain outfit for this guy, but it's basically like, he's a rich guy, but he's not like the professional kind. He'll wear a suit, but it's gonna be like a colored suit. It's still gonna appear right, but, you know. I gave him this, um, I went into style and smart, and I put on the tycoon one. The, like, if I could get one of those with the cool looking vest, and in the suit jacket, that would be perfect, but they don't always look as cool. So, you know, I put it on like that. Blue looks right. Maybe I'll make the t-shirt blue or something. I, the tie is the only thing that I'm feeling is off. The shirt actually looks pretty good, but the tie I really don't like. I'll make it like a blue tie, if anything. And then, for like, more scenes where Thomas is being seen as the cold bastard he is. I, well, no, I didn't give him a hat. I gave him this pair of glasses here. Where is it? I gave him like these glasses. That way, actually, I, yeah, I gave him the tan janitor frames. That way, we could see that he's cold without looking like Morpheus. 
So yeah, he looks like that. He actually does look a lot like Morpheus, like this, but you know, you just give him the basic stats. They don't really matter. And well, here we go. Let's name him Thomas. Whoa. Oh, it doesn't actually let me put a space. All right. And that's how you make Thomas Cortell. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, support the channel. Thanks for being here in case I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.